One of the key things that is at the heart of my thinking about the reasons why we have to have a reparations program, and it's a reparations program specifically for black Americans who are descendants of persons who were enslaved in the United States, um, is, is because there are three phases of American history that are associated with a range of deep atrocities that were directed against the black community. And it's those atrocities that merit or demand restitution. The first phase is the obvious one, which is uh, the period of, of enslavement, which ranged from 1776 to 1865. The, the second is the period that lasted for almost 100 years uh, following the end of the Civil War uh, of, of legal segregation in the United States. And then the third is the ongoing damages that have been inflicted on black Americans uh, in the period after the passage of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. And here I would include uh, mass incarceration. I would include uh, police killings of unarmed blacks. I would include uh, employment discrimination. And I would include perhaps what's most dramatic from my standpoint as an economist, the enormous racial gulf in wealth between blacks and whites in the United States. So the U.S. government is the culpable entity. And the reason it's the culpable entity is because it established the legal and authoritative framework that made it possible for all of these atrocities to take place. If you look at the founding documents for the United States, uh, the founding documents engrave in them the legality of slavery. Um, if you look at the period of Jim Crow in the United States, uh, there is no, there was no existing national legislation that was in place that would prevent the operation of acts of legal segregation both in the North and in the South. If you look at the current situation, there's no action that's being taken by the federal government to curb police violence that's directed against unarmed blacks. There's no steps that have been taken to compensate people who have lost family members as a consequence of that violence, nor have there been any steps taken to compensate people for being subjected to uh, un un unjust or un uh, unwarranted incarceration. So it, it's actually, the, it's a, there's a national responsibility that's in operation here, and the national responsibility has to be met by the federal government.